Hi all, let's have a look at a very interesting game of Magnus Carlsen at the World Rapid Championship. So the King Salman FIDE World Rapid Championship is held in St. Petersburg, Russia from the 26th to the 28th of December. It's a 15 round Swiss tournament with a prize fund of 150,000 US dollars. Time control is 15 minutes with a 10 second increments per move. Uh, in case of a tie, there will be a blitz playoff between the first two players. So this game in round two was very interesting. Magnus uh, was probably annoyed in round one. He unfortunately lost on time in a better position. He knew this player rook move and didn't do it in time and was coming to this game kind of perhaps annoyed. Uh, so this is against Shamsidin uh, Volkidov. Excuse the pronunciation. E4 for Magnus E5, and we have a very unusual second move, Queen H5. This has been played apparently by Nakamura a, a few times in, in online chess. Uh, it's not as bad as you might think, although it seems to break a beginner's principle about moving uh, the queen out early. Uh, usually, the punishment is temper gaining on the queen, but actually, Bishop C4 does kind of encourage Black, black to play G6. Queen F3, again, it threatens mate, so that's parried. And now knight e2 takes out much of the downside of the queen being on f3, really, without the tempo gain. It's not that bad a position to get the opponent out of book. Knight f6, d3, bishop g7, knight bc3. White has a good grip on the d5 square. h6, knight d5, knight takes, e takes. And now here, it seems as though... Uh, knight d4 might be a good idea for black to maintain equality. If white has to play a move like this, for example, uh, then it's it's not great. It it seems as though black's at least equal anyway. Or queen e2, black's at least equal. But here, knight a5 was played, and it allows Magnus to play a nice little tactical move. I wonder if you can guess it, if I give you five seconds to pause the video. Okay, d6, yes, hitting the queen, trying to get the queen away from f7. And it causes a big problem. So just to put it on the board, the queen takes, there's queen takes f7 check, and queen takes g7, big advantage. Uh, so it causes a problem. C takes d6, which means white's control of d5 is very nice here. Bishop d5, and a very nice place for the bishop. Knight c6, bishop d2, queen f6, queen e4, and white's doing very well here. Both sides castle, knight e7, knight c3, queen f5, queen b4 hitting d6, knight takes, knight takes with the big frets now of knight e7 check. Uh, so we have now king h7, and here uh, we have knight c7, rook b8, queen takes d6. So very interesting with the uh, the rook on b8 here, b6. Now at this critical moment, uh, black maybe if if black plays rook d8, white still is 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 a really nice uh, position after knight d5, and f4 as an example. So for example, this position it's it's actually really nice, but uh, b6 gives white a great opportunity here for a tactical move, which Magnus actually didn't play. And it's actually a bit more strong than I had imagined at first glance. Uh, so white play here. What would you play here? Five seconds. Okay, this is this is not great by Magnus Carlsen's standard. He played f3, but the move, which is really strong, is knight e8, hitting that b8 rook. So any bishop move, we can just take the rook. It's disconnecting the rooks for sure, even with bishop b7. And for example, if rook a8, then knight takes g7. And there's a lovely move here. I wonder if you can guess. White to play. Bishop takes h6, dragging the king away from the rook. So that's just winning an exchange, winning the game really at this level. And even what, what I was thinking, even if there isn't this, which I didn't see, but I, I saw bishop c3. And this gives white a big advantage anyway because of f4. This seems like a natural thing to want to do. Uh, this is this is a nice advantage for white, but I, I guess you know opposite colored bishops uh, might give black some some chances to draw. But anyway, this this move 
unfortunately is not great off the bishop b7 black's doing fine here now absolutely fine and in fact magnus compounds the situation here by playing bishop c3 if he had played knight b5 <clears throat> a6 knight c3 queen e6 black has a small edge but is not totally winning or anything but unfortunately magnus played bishop c3 and now we have a problem bishop f8 this is actually winning a piece in broad daylight this move bishop f8 uh, because if queen takes e5 queen takes bishop takes there's d6 and that knight's falling the next move so uh this is really bad now uh this situation after bishop f8 magnus plays knight b5 spectacularly offering the queen that is taken knight takes queen e6 knight takes rook takes so yes uh rook takes queen d6 black has a big material advantage we have bishop d5 bishop e6 <clears throat> bishop b takes a and now rook c5 that's taken uh yeah it's very very difficult for white uh this is just really lost you might think there's a chance for the rook ever gets to h8 will be checkmate there's quite a distant dream here especially after queen takes h2 okay it's not that distant it's two moves <laughs> but in the meantime black has this check and now black plays a really crushing move which ends the game black to play great move by Vokadov. obviously in a, in a great position black to play what would you play with black okay d4 yeah it's a totally crushing move uh magnus resigned if bishop takes there's check which hits the king and bishop on king e3 there's check here and now g5 is checkmate so basically yeah this is this is just winning the bishop making it even easier so uh yeah a crushing psychological blow you might think but actually uh, magnus did well after this game and recovered on that first day to, to bounce back strongly to his great credit and strength of character with three wins in a row after this this game actually but yeah it was it was an interesting game and shows magnus is just human after all and he got annoyed i believe from his first game but um I thought it would have been a nice advert for Queen H5 being playable. White did have a perfectly good position, even the advantage, because of Black's uh, inaccuracy with Knight A5 allowing D6. So White was in a great position to really capitalise and win this game uh, from this novel opening. But anyway, I hope you got something from it. Uh, if you enjoyed this game video, uh, please check on the uh, the top left box, which should appear shortly to become a member at chessbowl.net. Play against other YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis of these games in advance from the improved menu learn from the Masters YouTube order button. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell. Really appreciated. And check out the new Teespring store in the description. Thanks very much.